Hello, my name is Mark, and I'm back. It's the end of the Premier League 2015-2016 second half predictions. Alright, these are my final thoughts. This will be it. Alright, top seven. Here we go. Alright, pretty much I'm going to say Arsenal will win because uh, it's been a while. And um, this is very, this is very, you know, very low analytical, um, you, like very low analytical, like uh, thought and put into this. Okay, but from what I think is, chances are, you know, everyone's going to be injury plagued, and Arsenal, who seem to be always injury plagued, always managed to pull out something. I think they got second last season or something, or third. I think they got third, but I think with the fall off of Chelsea. Um, they'll probably be the guys to win. I think uh, Ozil, Sanchez, and Giroud will clean up, and Czech will will give them the win. All right, next up, second will be Manchester City. I think in the end, just building a team of all of the greatest players, with the exception of the Bar of the Barcelonas, the Real Madrids, and the Bayern Munichs, and maybe even the Borussia Dortmunds. They will still fall. I think uh, the defense is too weak. I mean, without company, they're screwed, I think. At least from some, uh, they've been exposed. Um, maybe they'll fix it by the end of January. Maybe they'll call in some more guys. I really doubt they'll burn more money in January, but who knows. But, uh, yeah, injuries, I think, will hurt them far worse than Arsenal. I think they can act Arsenal can survive. Manchester City, uh, they'll probably survive as long as they don't lose Aguero again. Um, but yeah, who knows? I st but I do think they'll be second. And it's a, it's pretty much a flop swap between Arsenal and Man City. But I'd say Man City will be second. And then third will be the Spurs. I think the Spurs with their young team will probably eke out a third place uh, win. They'll finally get out of fourth. Um... I think Harry Kane will carry them probably. Kane, Lamella, Erickson, those three will probably lead the attack and take care of business. So Hot Spurs, or the Spurs, <laughs> Hot Spurs, it's part of their name. Uh, but yeah, the Spurs will be third. Then we got, as always, I think the team that will probably shake up the Premier League at least this season is Leicester City. Totally, no one would have expected it, right? They were last in the big in the beginning of the year, the 2015. Now they're tied for second, I think, or tied for first. I don't remember what they are now. By the time the video is out, they'll probably be uh, they'll probably be somewhere around fourth, I'd imagine, and they'll probably finish around fourth. Um, I think Leicester. I think people say they will drop off and probably be mid table. That wouldn't be a surprise either. But I would imagine. I think Vardy and Mara still have something to say, and uh, I don't think Ranieri has. Um, their manager. I don't think he's used up all his cards. I don't think he has uh, has some tricks up his sleeve that he hasn't shown us yet. So I think the managing genius will pull out something crazy, and I imagine they should be able to get fourth. All right, all right. Fifth, I would think is going to go to Liverpool. Um, I think Jurgen Klopp, of course, you know his his system isn't perfect. We are, we we know always the the downsides of high pressing and counter attack football is they'll just let you have the ball and they'll just sit back and wait yeah they'll wait to death I guess I don't know it's something like that I mean obviously all all strategies have some sort of uh, some sort of weaknesses but I think Klopp will probably have enough star power in his team as well as uh, scoring power that he'll be able to get through the weaknesses of his um, of his strategy and you should be able to secure fifth I don't really see I think Liverpool's a little more consistent and they'll probably get fifth and then sixth is uh, Manchester United I think could swap between Liverpool and Manchester United but I think United just have uh, I think they just lack the scoring consistency they don't have they don't have like the extra umph, I guess you'd say, to score. I mean, like, the guy who scores, I think, most of the time is, at least the guy you would think would score is Marshall, or Martial. I don't know how to pronounce that for a French accent, so I apologize. Um, yeah, Marshall, 
He's like the only guy who can score, I think. I mean, unless you're waiting for Memphis to catch on. Hopefully they'll catch on soon, um, score some goals, I don't know. But it's just the football they're playing is probably very detrimental to Memphis. And I, I saw that one horrible mistake he made against uh, Stoke, was it? Or something, maybe? I don't even know. Are you, are, you even, are you guys even playing total football or something? I mean, I'm pretty sure Depay or Memphis is a... Uh, He's a very offensive guy. I don't think he'd ever be a la left back. That's very, that's very shady. I mean, a guy I'm pretty sure hasn't played defense for a very long time is forced to play defense in a real match. Is uh, like it was built for failure essentially. Of course, you know, if you're not a defender and uh, you don't really think about defense much, I mean, he could have kicked it back to De Gea, but I mean, at the time, you know, someone's closing him down and. What are you going to do? You know, sometimes you mess up, and he tried to header it for some reason. But, um, yeah, you know, make mistakes. It's fine. You know, stuff happens. Cut the guy some slack. First season in the Premier League, man. So, you know, not not everyone kicks on immediately. But, yeah, I see, I see United as sixth. I don't think, like, uh, they, they just seem very, they just lack the attacking prowess to pick up goals, I think. That's a big problem in the end. Uh, yeah. Alright, seventh, I think, is going to be Crystal Palace. Um, nothing, no reason in particular. I just think the competition, uh, probably won't meet up consistently. Uh, of course, Stoke City's up there. Stoke and Watford. I wouldn't be surprised if those guys uh, took their spot, but I'm going to say Crystal Palace. Uh, just because of their record right now. I haven't seen too many, um, too many games from them, so of course that's a very uneducated uh, guess, but it's either Stoke or them, and I'm going to say Crystal Palace just because of their record at the moment, but I wouldn't be surprised if Stoke does ultimately get 7th. That would be cool though, nice team to shake it up a bit, or West Ham, but uh, I don't know about West Ham, it's uh, they also could be 7th, but I'm not going to not gonna say too much. I think they're too. They lean. They require too much from one guy. Um, I think his name is Payet. I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce his name, but Payet seems to be too. He seems to be too influential. It's like if he gets injured again, they are gonna be in big trouble. So, yeah. But nonetheless, this this is my top seven, and I uh, and I hope um. I hope you enjoyed the video. So give video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to YouTube channel for new. Comment below. Tell me what you think. Of course, you know I'm gonna be blasted for something. Some 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 guesses I've made. But hey, whatever, right? Everyone has their own opinion, and I'm just stating mine. So ah yes, I forgot about this. This is just the quick references for all the sites that I used to uh, you know to get information and images from. So thank you, and I'll see you all next time.